one of the rising stars from the season's America's Got Talent got some help with her performing skills from a local acting studio. Angelica Hale, 10, a singer and actress from Johns Creek, is a student at Blank Stage Acting Studio in Woodstock. The rising star earned her place on the national stage on America's Got Talent Season 12, becoming the runner-up in the season finale last Wednesday behind 12-year-old singing ventriloquist Darcy Lynn Farmer. I'm so grateful I got so far, I made it all the way to the end, Angelica said. I'm so happy for Darcy, and it's so amazing. Angelica has been singing since the age of two. She's come a long way since then. We almost lost her in 2012, she was very sick, she had double pneumonia, she had a bacterial infection in her lungs, said her father, James Hale. At four years old, the double pneumonia caused her to become septic, damaging her kidneys and other organs. She was in the hospital for 80 days, part of which she had to be on life support. Angelica went home but was on dialysis for a year and a half before her mother was able to give her one of her kidneys in 2013. She had a long road in the hospital, she needed a kidney transplant, that my wife was able to give her a year and a half after all this, James Hale said. When I was in the hospital, it was so heartbreaking for all of us, Angelica said. Music helped me escape the things that were happening. It helped me get through my sickness. When she was released from the hospital, parents encouraged her to pursue her dream, starting her singing lessons and performances that would lead to competing in AGT. What we took away is, you've got to live life in the moment. If you have a dream, don't wait, tomorrow's not guaranteed, the singer's father said. When she got out of the hospital, we said look, we think she's got this talent, let's encourage her to grow and develop and see where it takes her. Anthony Michael, owner of Blank Stage, knew she was a talented actress before he heard her singing voice. She was hired for the promotional video when the studio was opened in December last year. She got on stage one day and got on the mic around Christmas, and I heard her sing for the first time, Michael said. I said to her dad, you need to get her in a competition, she's amazing. The Hale family was already in contact with the America's Got Talent producers by then, he said. The multi-talented performer has the support of her friends from the acting studio. Everybody in school here watches her every time she performs, we've supported her, Michael said. She would Snapchat us after every show at the backstage. She's absolutely admired and adored by everybody. The performance that earned Angelica the no. Two Spot was a soulful rendition of Symphony by Clean Bandit in the penultimate episode for the season, which aired Tuesday. The song reminds the singer of her relationship with music, she said. I want all my songs to have some kind of meaning. Symphony, was between music and me. Music and I have such a big bond, she said. Also, it was for my sister Abigail. Even though she's only three weeks old, we have such a strong connection. I love her so much. For the final show, the runner-up teamed up with fellow AGT singer Ketchy for Kelly Clarkson's Stronger, where they were joined by Clarkson herself. Angelica will join some of her fellow contestants later this fall. She will perform with Farmer, the dance group Light Balance and comedian Preacher Lawson in Las Vegas November. Three at the Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. The young performer plans to reach even bigger heights after the show. I plan to write my own songs and start publishing them and performing around the world, she said. AGT, has given me so many opportunities and I'm so thankful.